Hey everybody, welcome back to You Are Supreme Toys yet again. And today we're going to go over our last and final Ghostbusters Afterlife figure, Phoebe. Phoebe is the star of the movie. She stole the show. The actress did an amazing job. With the exception of Paul Rudd as her co-host, she pretty much carried the movie. If we look at the packaging, pretty standard, nothing special. Animated Phoebe, nothing special. So let's go ahead and cut her out of this package. Here we have a close-up of animated Phoebe. Yet again, Hasbro paper. Got the little cutout for the fright feature. Ugh. All right, this little flabby-looking fella was the main antagonist ghost that we saw in the film. Well, not the main, but the initial antagonist ghost. He ate metal. Let's see what his button does. This is basically the Slimer for the movie. Um, trying to get a good look at that tongue. It, it, it's painted, but it looks like a collection of metal objects like he's eating metal it's like all kinds of little things in there you can't really tell but one of them looks like it might be a keyboard and you can see on the bottom side of his jaw little gears and gizmos so he's just full of metal parts because that's what he did for some reason he was able to just eat and digest metal and I like this feature it's fun little <laughs> One little, uh, <laughs> I like him. He's okay. He's like a big fat grub worm. Here we have the proton pack. Same as everyone else's. Nicely detailed. Soft rubber hose attached to the gun. She's got a spot on her nose. Not sure how I feel about that. Can't really see it in the picture. There it is. Little spot of paint from her glasses now her face is a, a kind of a mess because they tried to paint the glasses and they went over the edge and hit her face but the glasses are like the same brown paint color as her eyebrows nicely sculpted hair very reminiscent of her brother Trevor's she's got her uh, Spingler patch on the front of her, her suit because she grabbed her grandfather's jumpsuit and as, easy, as you can tell because her <laughs> the pant legs are too long and the cuffs are rolled up and they did the same thing with podcasts nice little tampoed Ghostbusters emblem painted elbows pads, painted straps painted belt and her belt is a makeshift belt it's just like tied up with a loop. Um, <laughs> and uh, my favorite part is her shoes. Her shoes are red. Five points of articulation. Nice tight joints. Flat seating. Photon pack fits snugly in the back. And she probably has the smallest grip of anybody but is still able to hold the blaster efficiently. I like the toy aesthetic of this line. If your kids liked Ghostbusters, like I, I don't see any problem they would have playing with these. They'd pretend they were Ghostbusters, they'd play with their little button mashing ghost and go about their day. So I like that. I'm, I'm cool with that. The price point is there. The value with the extra ghost pack ends is there. And do they have issues? Of course. Anything of this particular caliber is going to have negatives. Next, the one I've been waiting for, we're going to be doing a review of the Ecto-1. But this has been a review of the Ghostbusters Afterlife Phoebe from Hasbro. And I am You Are Supreme Toys. Thank you for watching.